Hey guys, uh, today I'm gonna be doing a review. MK, uh, the Colt MK IV. I have a little bit of a review on it, but in my other video, I review the rifle it comes with, which is right here. Yeah, it's a rifle it comes with. It's a nice rifle. Okay, so now I'm gonna be doing a little bit of shooting on the gun. I'm gonna shoot X Men Origins Wolverine, the, uh, not the game, the manual. Sorry about that. I wish I could shoot the game, but. <laughs> And then Modern Warfare 2. And Ghost Recon. Okay, so. And this little piece of styrofoam I found. But it's probably not going to go through that. It's only like, what, 200 FPS or something. Okay, so I'm just going to load up the BBs real quick. I'm going to tell you there's 14 it holds. Sorry about that. I'm just loading it. Okay. Fully loaded. Now I'm just going to put it back in the gun. And let's get on to the shooting. Okay, so I'm going to shoot Modern Warfare 2 first because it's um, the thinnest. And I would be shooting the rifle, but the thing is my friend, my friend's uh, housekeeper lost the, my friend's housekeeper misplaced the, the charger for that, so right now we can't shoot it. So, okay, it's a Springer. Cock it back. Um, and if you want, I can use a flashlight. But... Not really, I don't really need. Okay, I'm gonna go for his head and I'll tell you what the accuracy is. I'm only like three feet away, not even, so. Wow, as you can see, it went right to his chest. And I was aiming for his head. But, slightly impressive, it did go through. Which is pretty good for the 200 FPS gun. Okay, so that was one one for two, I'm gonna take another shot at it. That deflected at me, but it didn't hurt. It went right there. Um, and it went through again. Alright, so, now I'm going to be shooting X-Men Origins Wolverine. Also, it's the next thinnest piece of paper. Oh, okay. I'm going to aim for his, aim between his two eyes. Three, two, one. Wow, look at that. The BB got stuck right here, but it just came out. But it still went through. Um, like, it didn't go through, but it still made the thing to go through paper. Shoot another time. I'm gonna aim for his, uh, for his nose. And, okay, I got his nose. I got it right there. If you can see, I'm not sure. It's right there. Yeah, that's this hole right here. Yeah, right there. Alright, so, now, let's get on to Ghost Recon. The thickest book, and this thing has something like 40 pages. Okay, let's try it. It's probably not gonna. I highly doubt it. But, let's go. Alright, three, two, one. I'm aiming for the C in Ghost Recon. In Recon. And as you can see, look what happened. It really isn't that good of an accuracy, because the rail is covering it, like the aiming. And I would take it off, but my friend doesn't want to because he likes the flashlight. So, yeah. yeah I'll shoot another shot. I'm aiming for the O in Ghost. And that didn't even hit the paper. <laughs> I couldn't, I missed it. Okay, now it hit the paper. It hit right there. Yeah, you can't even see it. That's how terrible. So... I might as well try and shoot the styrofoam, but it's really not going to do anything. I doubt it because it's even thicker than the Ghost Recon. So here we go. It knocked it down, but nothing. Nothing shows, nothing happened. Try it one more time. Ow, that just reflected right on my cheek. And nothing happened. Again. Yeah, <laughs> that hurt. Alright, so. Okay, thank you, YouTube, for watching. Oh, this gun, uh, I, I don't recommend buying it. Okay, so, as I said in my other video, I'm going to do a review. So, this gun is like a uh, three, no, a two out of a five, because it's crappy Springer. I mean, it's probably going to break it on me in a couple of days. But the flashlight's okay, I guess. Connected to my rifle. Connected to my friend's rifle, actually. All right, so, thank you for watching, YouTube. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.